Hi guys, I'd like to start out with a big thanks to everyone for getting the channel to 3,000 subscribers. It's come from humble beginnings where I started out like everyone else shooting video with a Sony Mavica floppy disk digital camera to now where I use an iPhone camera with a microphone attachment. So aside from that, this is an ordinary project uh, for part two of graphic APRS terminal. Following on from the last video, I was saying the APRS traffic here is limited, which isn't great for software debugging. I've used a Yaesu FT8900 on air and a Scion 5MX PDA for serial debugging. To speed things up a bit, I've downloaded an APRS test CD, which is a long duration of captured data in Los Angeles that can be played back. This uh, sample data is fast and varied. So now rather than receive input exclusively from a radio, I'll connect the device to a CD player's audio output and afford myself the convenience of remote control. In this crappy video segment, you'll see that the graphics are now dynamic. Execution doesn't have to wait in a loop for serial data to arrive from any source thanks to two interrupt-driven serial routines. There are some alert tones that can be used to alert to any sort of event as well as a start on vertically scrolling uh, some text fields which in this case is a weather report. The rate at which this data arrives from the Los Angeles test CD it uh, makes me wonder how useful it would be to store a log on SD card and be able to scratch back and forth. It would work like the CD player which I can pause right now and rewind. Hello, JavidX9 from the One Lone Coder YouTube channel here, and I'd like to wish Brett Ma sorry, Breck Martin a fantastic and sincere congratulations in only after 13 years has he achieved three 3,000 subscribers, so uh, well done. I thought I'd better check the channel, and it seems to be mostly old electronics junk, and uh, broken junk at that, so I guess that probably describes why it's such a fantastic milestone. Uh, anyway, well done, Brett. In the last video, I touched on the fact that the device has some remote control I.O. functionality, so I'll go into that a little bit here. We've got a working message that at the moment can be sent from anyone to anyone, which is set I.O. a command, and then an, a so far unused eight-digit security code, and then after that is the four binary digits, which will become the outputs of the LEDs on the device. Um, no good setting them all to zero though, so I'm changing them here. Uh, I think it was to 1010 and red from the back of the device because uh, the LEDs do look back to front in this segment. But uh, as red from the back, they would uh, be in order 1010. Congratulations to Bre Breck? Breck. Breck Martin. Well done, my goodness, Breck. You have achieved. 3,000 subscribers. Well done. I can only imagine the dizzying heights of 3,000 subscribers. So well done, B. Martin, for achieving that at this rate, because that only took you 13 years. Don't worry, you will hit your gold play button in the year 6,340. So there you are. Well done, Breck. This is blank, by the way. Anyway, that's, that's how much I know about Breck. Okay, the particular demo running in this segment was uh, specifically made or adjusted for YouTube. And um, I'll throw away the script and try best uh, to explain what I see. Um, rather than just obfuscate my own location by adding a couple of fixed... Um, values to the latitude and longitude uh, where I've intercepted it in the GPS routine. Uh, what I've done here is done that for the latitude so it stays more or less the same and the longitude is uh, incremented up to 360 degrees and then back to zero or 359 degrees I should say and back to zero. So um, I'm apparently spinning around the earth or traveling around the earth very fast not at the equator. So the latitudes of all of these um, on-air positions are close to real, the longitudes aren't. 
As appreciative as I am that I've gained all these new subscribers, I am going to have to neglect you all for a while. It's good enough making things like this for myself, but uh, I can't really share it that way. So I plan to use this time at home uh, to come to grips with a PCB CAD program. Who the hell's Breck Martin? I don't know. Breck Martin. Breck Martin. 3K subs. Let's have a look. Videos. There's a lot of videos. Wow. Wow. Been going for a long time. Jeez, that's persistence. Hang on. 13 years. It took him 13 years to get to 3,000 subscribers. Jeez. Don't even have to watch those videos. Can't be any good at all. What kind of name is Breck anyway? This EV bog character, I've done a bit of research and it appears he got where he is today by making a subscriber counter which first prints some nonsensical Egyptian hieroglyphics followed by a live subscriber count. So I've gone ahead and made a subscriber counter of my own and Matt Parker would suggest that four digits should last me another 40 years. Uh, the cool thing is I'm about to show you how to do some proper transition effects on your digit displays of choice. I mean, after 13 years, spam bots alone are going to be about that anyway. 